even tried texturing a model and realized that it just doesn't look good. Weathering is actually really important and it tends to be pretty underrated by 3D artists. So today I'm going to show you how to weather things using texture painting. You can take your diff, tab in the edit mode, and then press it U, and then smart UV project. That's really important, that smart UV project. And now you can see it works. And you can paint like a graffiti like that. It's so evil. Some stuff I'm going to do is just take down the strength and then I'm just going to kind of get some of the corners. To sell the effect, what you need to do is go to textures.com and download some stuff like this. Um, scratched paint, dirty paint, stains, and dust. I also found that some leaking kind of things looked good too. You can just download a bunch and choose later in Blender. So now that I've downloaded a few brush textures, let's go hop back into Blender. So the first thing you're going to want to do is make sure that your blend mode is set to multiply. Make sure that you're painting with black paint and set your strength to 1. I had some trouble with that because I had turned on the strength for that and then I would forgotten to turn it back up again. So now you can go ahead and open up your image. I stored a bunch in here and I want this one. This one's nice. You can see when you paint, it, just, it looks kind of, it, do, it doesn't work. So you're going to have to check calculate into alpha. Make sure that your mapping is random. Go ahead and start painting in areas that you think might be pretty weathered. I mean, this process is pretty forgiving because you can control Z your way out of something if you realize that doesn't look good. Okay, so type 2. This is... I like this type even better. So let's take a different kind of um, approach. So use one of those alpha decals that you got um, from textures.com. I'm gonna use this one. And then you set the stroke and then set the anchored. And now decals and it's like it just works so well. Part three, graffiti. Yeah, I like uh, that. This is gonna be kind of fun because you can be really creative with this. So, I am basically gonna get rid of this. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna set the clouds to kind of get that kind of um uh, like like not a completely just perfect texture, but but not a really imperfect texture either because spray paint needs to be somewhat perfect. So now you can actually use the, the color you want. And you're going to want to set this um, the stroke method back to space. Okay, so I'll just b-roll through this texture painting process because it's really fun. And see you in a moment. Finally, I got this, and I mean, there's some funny graffiti on there. I'm not a good graffiti artist, especially with just a mouse, but it looks a lot better than it did before. Here is a side-by-side -side comparison.